Hello everyone. Welcome to D Designers. In this video, we are going to see how to stitch this neck pattern in detail. Let's start making. Here I have taken interfacing material and I folded it. Now I'm marking neck width here. So I'm marking 3.5 inches. And for the neck depth, I'm marking 7 inches. Now mark a square down here. So here I'm going to mark the round shape for the neckline. Again mark one inches outside the neckline. Now connect these points and mark the shape. Here I am going to make the placket. So for that I am going to mark 14 inches from the top. Now make a line slightly inside the placket. Now again mark 0.75 inches for seam allowance leaving outside the neckline. Now connect these points as per the shape. Mark same seam relevance for the down as well. Now the neckline is ready. I'm going to cut the first neckline. Now first leg neckline is ready. Now cut the second neckline. Now I'm going to cut the placket. Do it carefully when you cut this line. Now you could see the shape of the neck. This is the second one and now it is the first neckline. For the first neckline, I am going to give a shape. For that, I am holding this. I am going to give a slit here. Now cut this shape. Now we have two pieces for the first neckline. I have pasted this neckline on the wrong side of the fabric 
and this is the right side i have taken two pieces each now i'm going to make a stitch here and turn it to the right side now start from the bottom so do it carefully when you come to the corner take the other one same way i'm going to give the stitch finish at the bottom so now i'm going to cut according to the shape of the neck make a slits to make easy to turn so i'm turning into right side so for the corners use some tools to make it sharp Now the shape is ready. Do the same way for the other one. Now the first neckline is ready. I have done the overlock also. Now I have taken the main fabric. and i marked the center for the neck and in the lining fabric i have pasted the second neckline and i keep the fabric matching the center and i have pinned already and i am going to stitch on the neckline After stitching, I have removed the pins. Now I am going to cut the neckline, leaving half an inch around the neck. And cut the placket as well, and make a slit in the corners of the placket and around the neckline as well. Now turn the lining fabric to the wrong side. Now the shape has come very well. Now take the bias strip as per the required length and take the piping cord and I'm folding and make a stitch do the same for the other strip
now fold the other end of the strip to finish the raw edges Do the same for the other strip. The strips are ready. I'm taking the neckline and I'm going to fix this piping cord under the neck and make a stitch to attach these both. Keep the piping strip as per the shape of the neck and continue stitching. One side we have done. turn this fabric and keep the other piping strip under the neck and continue the same Now the piping is done. To close this placket I have taken a strip of fabric and I folded on all the sides. Take as per the required length and I am keeping under the placket and make a stitch around the placket. Now I have closed the placket. Now I am taking the first neckline and I have marked 1 inches around the neck and I am placing under the second neckline. Keep it on place. Now I have pinned it so that it will not move. I am going to make a stitch on the neckline. Continue the same for the other side. Now the neck is ready. I have taken fabric buttons and I am fixing it here to give a better look for the neck. Hope you like this video. Please subscribe my channel and thanks for watching. Until then, happy designing and stay connected.